Hey everyone, in this series I'm going to show you how to make use of the early access plugins for the new Unreal Audio Engine currently in development. These tutorials will follow the instructions in the Quick Start Guide hosted by Dan Reynolds who's a technical sound designer at Epic. You can find the link to that Quick Start Guide and to the Unreal Engine audio forums in the description below this video. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to set up Unreal on your system to access the new audio engine and how to enable the plugins in your project. In subsequent videos in this series, we will cover the modular subtractive synth, the granular synth, source effects, and submixes. Please note that I am working on a Windows machine. Some of the steps for setting up the new audio engine on a Mac may be slightly different. So please see the form link in the description below if you have questions about Mac setup. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new Unreal project. Open up the launcher and then launch the Unreal editor. Once the editor is launched, choose a blank template. Then in the options, choose mobile tablet, scalable 3D or 2D, and no starter content. For the ease of this tutorial, I'm going to save my new project onto the desktop. And I'm going to name it New Audio Engine. Then click Create Project. The next step after our new project has been created is to set up our any files. Minimize the project. And I'm working on a Windows machine and I'm going to be building to Windows, so I'm going to be setting up the Windows any files. There are two places that you can set up the any files for the new Unreal Audio Engine. The first is in the Engine folder for your installation of Unreal. I'm going to navigate to where they're located. On my computer, I navigate to the C drive, Program Files, Epic Games, and then to the folder of the version of Unreal I will be working in. I'm going to be working in 4.18, so I'm going to navigate to that folder, click on the Engine folder, Config, and then the Windows folder. Here you can see that the Windows Engine any file is already established. I'm going to click on it to open it, and I'm going to see a simple text file. What you should see in the Windows Engine any folder is this line here, which is audio mixer module name equals audio mixer x audio 2. You can see in the comment above that this says defining below allows switching to audio mixer using dash audio mixer command line. I'll show you what that means later on in the video. For now, close this out and X out of the finder window. I mentioned that there are two places that you can set up the any file. The other place you can set it up is in the project folder itself. I've placed my new project folder on my desktop. The name of my project is called New Audio Engine. I'm going to open up the folder, navigate to the config folder, and you're going to see that there's no Windows Engine any file here. You can create one simply by right clicking New Folder naming the new folder Windows. Then you can copy one of the existing any files, like default input, by pressing Ctrl C, going into your Windows folder, and pasting it with Ctrl V. Rename the new any file Windows Engine. Then open it. Control A to select all and delete. Then you'll paste the following into the blank text file. Control S to save and then close out the text file. Next, we need to set up the editor to open with the dash audio mixer command line. The easiest way to do this is to open the Epic Launcher under Libraries. Find your version of the engine that you will be working with. Next to the Launch button, click the drop down and select Create Shortcut. A shortcut to the version you have selected will be placed on your desktop. Navigate to the shortcut, 
right click on the shortcut, Properties. In the target field at the very end of the line after the quotes, type a space and then type dash audio mixer. Click apply and then click OK. Now the editor will open with this flag enabled and we can bypass opening the Epic Launcher from now on by using the shortcut to open the editor. Now let's open up our project and set up the editor. First, we're going to allow background audio. This will ensure that we can still hear our project when the editor loses focus. Navigate to Edit, Editor Preferences. Navigate to Level Editor, Miscellaneous. Then find Sound. Make sure to check Allow Background Audio, and then uncheck Enable Editor Sounds. This will eliminate the noise that plays whenever you exit play mode. Now we will ensure that our audio logic is still processing even if the editor loses focus. We do this by avoiding low frame rate when the editor is out of focus. In Editor Preferences, navigate to General, and then Performance. Uncheck Use Less CPU when in background. Then X out of Editor Preferences. Finally, it's time to activate the plugins. Navigate to Edit, Plugins. Navigate to Audio, scroll down, and find Sound Utilities. Click Enabled. You will be prompted with a message warning you that Sound Utilities is a beta version and might be unstable. And then it will ask you if you are sure you want to enable the plugin. Click Yes. You will also be prompted with a message to restart now. Do not restart yet, as we are still going to enable another plugin. Next, scroll down to Synthesis and check Enabled. You are going to be presented with the same warning. Click Yes, and those are the only two plugins we need to enable at this time. So we can now restart our editor in order to enable our plugins. Once your project has restarted, if the plugins window is still open, you can navigate to Audio, scroll down, and ensure that Sound Utilities and Synthesis plugins are enabled. If they are, then that's it. Now you're all set up to start using the new Early Access Audio Engine features that are in the works for Unreal. Be sure to check out the following videos in this series to learn how to start making some noise with these cool new audio features. Thanks for watching.